Hi, my name is uh, Richard Maok. I am known in the media as a uh, hacker fiscalia in the in Twitter. Um, I, I just want to share my personal story, and maybe it's obviously it's related with big data. Uh, I used to be a former detective in Colombia and the organizer of the big mass uh, interception of data. Uh, uh, but at, at, at that moment, I was uh, fired. I was fired from the Attorney General's office. I was working uh, in there. And after that, uh, the bad guys, let's say the paramilitaries, took a power of the system. Uh, but they collect a really huge amount of data, uh, massive data, and uh, including the police, the intelligence, everywhere. So the problem that we have at the moment was like the control of the data apparently was in, in a safe place, that is the police or the intelligence, but they are corrupted in, in a really high percentage. So we, we were under control. So from the human point of view, I mean, we are all humans. We are all humans. I mean, maybe the boundaries are just, I am from Colombia, you guys are from Canada, but still we are humans and we also deserve respect about the, about the data, about the privacy. In that situation, when the privacy is taken, who who, I mean, who organization, which organization will, will take care about the privacy? Well, that, that is unfortunately yeah. the, 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 the tragedy of the commons. No one, no one will act. There are rival standards. There, there is no internet, international governance regime right now based on human rights. And I think that um, the uh, UN system is in chaos when it comes to, with respect to uh, pursuing and enforcing freedom of expression, protecting um, individuals, um, and, uh, and uh, stopping surveillance at present. Uh, will that continue? I don't know. But again, I will come back to the argument that we have to look at less at privacy than we do at security. And we have to also look at international regimes and laws based possibly in the uh, International Cr Criminal Court eventually. And also, in the same order, um, what is the answer to the to the uh, uh, law enforcement when they argue like uh, it's important to uh, massify the surveillance of everyone? Because let's say in my particular situation, with like a more than forty thousand people committing crime, it's not like a three or four guys in the street. It's like a forty thousand for each group. That means like a, a lots of people, more than a hundred thousand uh, paramilitaries. In that situation, that's why they took the decision to massive uh, intercept everyone everyone um, but what, what is the right answer I mean if we, if we, if we go back to the past time I mean what is the answer for that kind of uh, uh, maybe a strategy or what what is the right uh, strategy in the situation no instead of massively you know t take that decision because there is a lot of criminals what do you think is the right solution well I, I will come back to this that in an era of um, massive um, uh, state failure, um, movement of refugees, uh, the spread of violence, um, international human rights regimes will come back to um, a, a, a notion of harm uh, and um, harm to individuals um, and to the right to life um, before they will go to liberty and 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 uh, uh, that is natural but that the right to protection from privacy the right to freedom of expression is a key part of that but I will always come back to uh, let's just get international governance right about the material right to life first and then we'll fight the next battles in terms of international global regimes I think you're looking at, down the road, a Security Council, which is a very different thing in terms of the deployment of geopolitics around the world. And I will also come back to the, the need to for groups like Amnesty International and other agencies to uh, Reporters Without Borders. There are so many who can push for a more uh, uh, humane and indeed just um, system around the International Criminal Court. And I think possibly Canada would ally behind that. Canada was one of the uh, main proponents of the formation of that court and needs to take it to the next generation. Thank you.